Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you're joining us from today. Welcome to another episode of the Coaches Corner. Yay! So today we have an awesome client spotlight. But before we get to um, uh, chatting with Pam, I just want to uh, put it out there for everybody. If you are interested in being on the Coach's Corner, please put comments below, or if there's some kind of subject or content that you want to hear about, please put your suggestions and your feedback below in the comment area. Feel free to share these videos as well. Um, you could find us on YouTube and on Facebook. And if you're not following Iris Vision, please hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and follow us because we are always sharing some really awesome, valuable content on all of our social media platforms. So again, welcome to the Coach's Corner. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited about today's episode, really excited. Uh, we have a really amazing person with us today, Pam Harris and her awesome husband, Barry. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. How are you, Marna? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Doing good. good. Awesome. So Pam, I worked with you quite some time ago, and I've just been so inspired by all the things that you do, all the things that you've accomplished and how you have really used Iris Vision to its fullest potential. And it's so cool to see some of the things that you've done. Um, for those of you out there, uh, Pam has shared some of her artwork with us in the past. And so today we actually kind of get to chat with her about some of the other things that she's doing with Iris Vision as well. So Pam, tell us um, about your story. Tell us about your diagnosis and when it happened and how it made you feel. Well, mine started a long time ago. I was only 32 when I had my first episode of wet macular degeneration. I hemorrhaged in my right eye and had macular hole, macular pucker. They didn't know much about it back then. So about 19 years later, I started having trouble with my left eye and it started leaking. And I did the shots for a number of years, but eventually got to the point um, where, you know, the Amsler grid, a lot of people are familiar mm -hmm. with that. Right. I would look now the right eye had been legally blind all those years anyway, but my left eye just, it did fine. The Amsler grid, I noticed I could still see the black dot in the middle, but it was like a donut thing around it where I had vision loss. Mm -hmm. Really weird. So that's when I, I was struggling, but I was still able to use the computer and things like that, but I couldn't really see faces very well. So that's when we bought Iris Vision because it was helping me to read things, even though I still had some central vision, it wasn't great. And that was in, I think, January of 2020. And I was so glad I got it then because you trained me and I had time to practice with it and use it because in February, the, the atrophy had spread to the central part of my left eye and I became legally blind about a month. And that was a couple of years ago. So since that time, the atrophy has continued to spread. But uh, I use Irish Vision for a lot of different things. Um, you know, so that's kind of my story. I have the wet, well, dry macular degeneration in both eyes, but I also have some peripheral loss due to uh, atrophy. It's not the geographic atrophy, it's another kind, but anyway. But I'm trying to eat those dark leafy greens and take those A-reds too and do all that stuff they tell you to. That's good, yes. And um, Barry, how did it make you feel when uh, Pam started losing her sight and then you know the difference that you saw once she started using Iris Vision? Well, yeah, we had, we had dealt with it for um, several years and then it just you know progressed to the point where it just became more and more difficult for her to do any kind of just simple task. And uh, we just uh, actually just came about it, I think, uh, just browsing Facebook. We saw a, an ad for it or something. And well, actually, a friend, Danny, oh, yeah, Danny. Danny yeah. told us about right. it. So he got very started researching. So I, I'm a big researcher. When I hear stuff like that, okay. I always think, okay. what can I do, you know, to help the situation? And and I just kind of, I said, hey, I told Pam, I said, yeah, this might be something we need to look into. This is, you know, got uh, several good testimonials and 
uh, really made a believer out of me. And I thought, well, you know, what's, you know, what's the harm? Let's try it. And we were very pleasantly surprised with the results. So yeah, it's, it was an adjustment, but, uh, you know, getting to that point where, you know, we've, we, we, you know, a lot of times we just felt like there wasn't anything that we could do. And then when this came along, it was just like a really blessing, a real blessing that we were able to use it. That's yeah. awesome. That's great. And Pam, you've done so many awesome things with your Iris Vision. And again, just to clarify for everyone out there, Pam is using the Iris Vision Live. Uh, we do have two different products. We have Iris Vision Live and Iris Vision Inspire. And Pam is actually using the Iris Vision Live. So tell us, Pam, uh, what are you doing with your Iris Vision? I, I know you have some artwork with you, right? Yeah, I do. Um, I used that. to. I used to do, first, let me clarify. Mm -hmm. I, a neighbor of mine, Ruth, lives behind me. She's a great artist, has an art studio, and she has art sessions, and people can go and work on their individual projects. So I started going there, and even with Iris Vision, I can't always see to do the detail. So she helps me with that. But the thing about it is, I said, okay, I'm channeling my inner Picasso. So <laughs> when I first did this, she said, Pam, it looks like there needs to be a boat. Like she, I was just putting colors together and she helped me do, I don't know if you can see that little sailboat. So it looks like maybe a sailboat out on the ocean at night. Um, this I'm still working on. I'm trying to get a lighthouse on the, I like water scenes as you could tell. Um, did this one, this uh, some swirling flowers. Okay, um, pretty. not too long ago. And I, I, these are all in acrylics, by the way. This one was just for fun. I just wanted to do an undersea fun oh, thing nice. for a kid's room or something, you know? So it's not some of the stuff I used to. Now, I will show you this. Okay, I used to sketch a lot. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Barry, where's the one? Okay, so this was sketching. Can you recognize who that is? Um, you're too young maybe that's John Wayne <laughs> anyway <laughs> but um so I was where's the other one oh, yeah this one. is the one this is the one like I can't do quite I'm still learning but this is like after vision loss with the device yeah these others oh. were before. the others were before but this is after okay. so and I okay. would tell anyone that's using it there is a learning curve like anything and be sure and listen to your coach, do what your coach tells you to, and don't get discouraged when you can't do what you want to do just right away. Right. You know, give it time. And I do that. I also have to have Irish vision to use the computer. There is no way, no way I could use the computer without it. And, and I totally understand that because, um, for me, I have to use my Iris Vision when I'm working on my laptop. So I, I get it. And how um, how is your experience using your computer with Iris Vision? Oh, yes, I, I use it constantly. It's daily. The, daily. Daily. Uh, wow. Well, it's like, of course, um, I do check Facebook. I But I write, I try to write books. I, you know, I write simple little books. And so I have written one book since vision loss. And with vision loss, people that you and I have talked about how some days the vision's better than others. And some days your eyes are tired and you say, oh, don't want to do it. So I can't work as long mm -hmm. just because if it is what it is. But at the same time, you adapt and you figure it out. So, yeah, I, I got a book done, got it published and. Um, that was all post vision loss, pretty much. With wow! And what's the, title? what's the title of your book? Well, this particular one, it's a it's a young adult, but adults have read it too, and it's called. I've got a. Can I show it? Absolutely. Yeah. Show I published us. it under. I published it under a pen name because I'm a retired teacher, and I thought some of my high school former high school students might read it and think my teacher wrote that. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> okay. No. You know, they have a certain idea of what their teachers are like. You know, we're not real people. But anyway, so <laughs> right. this book right here, you can see it's only about 60, 65,000 words. OK, but I did that. And, you know, the others I did before. But I will I will say this and I'll, we became grandparents for the first time in 2021. Oh, 
Oh, congratulations. And yeah, yeah, she's gonna be a year old next week. Yes. And so when we went to their house um, is during, they wouldn't let us go to the hospital because of all the COVID protocols and we live two and a half hours away. So when we went to see them, of course, I could not see her like everybody else could see her. Of course, that made me sad, but I put iris vision on and I could see the details of her face. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That was huge. Such a godsend. That was a huge thing believe me that's so, very cool yeah and, um besides using iris vision for your painting and um to use your computer and such with your books uh what other like daily living things have you used your iris vision for i understand you kind of helped your your mother right yeah my mom passed away last august and she was almost 94 years old mm -hmm. so the last five years of her life, I was going over to her house daily. And then I was became unable to drive. And so he'd take me and drop me off. And, but it got to the point where I was having to count out her medicines and do things like that. Well, if I had not had iris vision, I could not have done that. I handled all of her banking and she lived with us the last two and a half months of her life. And so I put my iris vision on to read her prescriptions or read her mail. You know, she would get mail, her bank statement. I'd balance her checkbook. Um, she didn't do the online banking. Um, then I got it set up. So I did it on computer then. Um, just things, just things. I used it for uh, recipes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. You know, like we all know, even you're going to make those brownies with that mix. You can't read the box. So put on Iris Vision, read what it says about um if i am in a place and i love because it's portable i oh something else if i go to the movies which i don't go often mm -hmm. i have to have it there even though that's a huge screen i cannot see the movie right without iris vision right and i understand that <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you know what it's like and so last time i was there i told my friend i said the kids in here are going to think i have a virtual reality headset on and sure enough this young man as the movie was over he stopped and asked me he said what kind of vr headset yeah. is that yeah funny. i think so, he thought we were gaming with it <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's probably ready to ask his mom for that yeah. i want that <laughs> oh that's funny it, I, people think i'm gaming with mine sometimes as well and uh, they say, what game are you playing? And I'm like, uh, life. <laughs> game of life. Yeah. Game of actual life. <laughs> well, and I have a friend, uh, Kathy, who she, her vision is not as bad as mine, but she loves to wear hers like in church so she can see what's going on. And um, she won't do that. And yeah, I don't do that because <laughs> I was helping our church with the after school program and all the young kids. Can I look through that? You know, they don't want to put it of on. Of course, of course. They're curious. Stuff like that. But she, you know, she says it's just great. That way she can see what's going on. And okay. uh, so it's a huge blessing to her. That's awesome. And um, just for everyone out there who maybe didn't catch the title when you held the book up, what is the title of your book? Truthful Lies. Truthful Lies. Uh-huh. And it's the Ada Marie Hall is the pen name. It's a family name combination and it's available on Amazon. You know, I used to have a, a small publishing company publish my books and they sold out. And so I just decided it's more of a hobby. So I'll just self-publish because it's fun. There you go. Yeah. And um, do you sell your artwork at all? No, I don't. I give it away. Like one of my better paintings I gave to a good friend and like the lady I told you about, Ruth, that lives in the my neighborhood, she helped me with certain aspects of it. And it was actually a photograph that my friend had taken in Florida of the sun coming up maybe, or at least the sun reflecting on the water. And that was just so much fun to do that painting for her. It turned out really pretty. It turned out, I think, pretty. And, and I thank Ruth for her help. But still, yeah, Ruth you did said, most of it. yeah, Ruth, Pam, you did most of it. Yeah. So <laughs> Very cool. And you did it with uh, your iris vision. Uh -huh. Oh, definitely. Iris oh, yeah. vision. So cool. So yes. it's awesome to know that you're doing all these different things with your iris vision but the potential is for 
uh, the device itself and how people can really maximize its use. It's sometimes when people get on the call with me, they think it's literally just for reading or just for television or, you know, just for certain things. And it's really for almost anything that you could think of, you should at least try it. Maybe you won't be able to accomplish what you wanted to with it, but at least try it because you never know, right? right. Well, I thought of a couple other uses for it. Um, I use it to weed the, the landscaping. Like I wear it around my neck, then I put it on to see where the weeds are. <laughs> yes. And I could do that. And I don't know if anybody else watching this has the fog issue. Uh, I have lots likely, of more than likely. <laughs> yeah, I have that huge fog issue. And so sometimes I go out on my front porch and I put it on on scene mm -hmm. because I've got color loss as well as just normal vision loss. And so when I put it on, I can see the greenness of the grass and and things like that, and it takes away the fog. You know, it may not be exactly like he would see it, but right. it's so much better than how I see it that mm -hmm. it's, it's really cool. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And out of all the different modes, which one do you use the most? I use scene for things like I told you about. I use the RP for the computer. Okay. Yeah, the RP is a good mode. Good mode. I, I use that one a lot too. I, I use the RP because it magnifies it more and helps me. It's for some reason I can see the detail better with RP. Mm -hmm. Remember, I've got some peripheral loss too. So right. the RP is good. And then I use the television mode. Okay. Those are my three main ones that I use. If I'm going to read something, the scene mode works fine for me. Awesome. I don't need the inverted or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. I, I understand. I use the RP mode quite a bit in the television mode as well. So mm -hmm. it's very cool. And then you're also involved with um, the foundation fighting blindness, right? Yes. This is new for me. Um, it's one of those Facebook things again, it popped up and I had never really heard of the organization. And I even talked to the president of our state's council of the blind. I said, is this a legitimate place? And she said, oh yes. And they've been around 50 years. Oh. So I contacted them because I wanted to volunteer with them in some way if I could. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I'm eligible for maybe some genetic testing where if, wow. if they need me, that if whatever I have would help them in their research, I might be eligible for a clinical trial. I don't know, that's nothing definite, but yeah, I'm working, uh, I'm learning or being trained to work as an outreach person for them. And okay. also I'm working with um, our, a local chapter in our state. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's really cool. I really uh, admire all the different things that you're accomplishing, not only with Iris Vision, but also as a partially sighted person. That's amazing. And it just goes to show that because there's a challenge, it doesn't mean that we can't accomplish things, right? We can't do things out there. And I love that. I love that about you, how you're, you lost your sight later in life. And as I understand it, it's diminished quite a bit uh, uh, rapidly, right? Yeah. yeah, it's still getting, it's getting worse all the time. But I, I would just say anybody, I would say anybody watching this, um, when you first, have it and I know yours started at a young age and I mm -hmm. can't imagine but I guess anybody that goes through the vision loss issue um, there's a period of grieving and sadness and and so for some worse than others like I've met a gentleman he's in his 80s and he hasn't experienced any of that sadness but I think partly for him is he is the age he is his wife is at home all the time he's actually not so bad yet he still drives a little bit so it hasn't advanced as much as like mine, maybe. But I think that the fact that his wife is there and if he wants to go somewhere, he still works. And so for me, when I'd be home by myself, that would be my struggle. So I wanted to share with people, it's okay to feel sad about it, but just don't let it get you down. Like right. work through it and it will get better. I, I said, I've come out of that valley and you know it will get better just stick with it and do what you can. There you go. 
That's all mm -hmm. there is to it. Don't be still, right? It's okay for a moment. <laughs> keep moving. But keep moving. Keep doing. Don't don't just and i'll say nothing at first i kind of wanted to not be around people because you know it's very awkward if you can't see people mm -hmm. and they're talking to you and you think who am i talking to right. um, but i would just encourage people not to hide in your house and do that sort of thing and and i've even taken iris vision with me shopping there you go yeah, yeah. very so, good and yeah. i love that i love those words of uh wisdom for those out there watching, especially if you're in the process of maybe losing your sight right now later in life, or you had some rapid sight loss all of a sudden, Pam put it perfectly. You, you phrased it perfectly. Thank you so much. And that's such an inspiration. Again, it, it just goes to show that you don't have to be still. You can accomplish so much if you put your mind to it, right? Right. And maybe you can't do some of the same things that you used to do, um, but look for other things to, to do, right. to explore interests. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And Barry, as, um, the, the spouse or, you know, the loved one, what kind of advice do you have for others out there who might be in your position? Just be a good listener. Um, <laughs> I, I, of course we've been married 42 years and, and I, I know her moods and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if I walk in and I see that she's, I can tell if she's a little down and I just let her talk. And uh, even though he's heard the same thing over <laughs> and over. <laughs> sometimes you just, I just think that's the best thing. You know, you, you're not going to fix anything. Uh, I can't fix it. And um, uh, just be a good support assistant for you her know. and, you know, and just, uh, just and, be there to listen. And I'll say this too, like with buying iris vision, you know, I'm saying, oh, we don't need to, should we, he said, I don't care what it costs, we are getting something to help your quality of life. So I wish everybody had the support system that I do because he's so supportive. Well, we're supposed to be there for our spouse and she would do the same for me. So there you go. That's, that's, uh, that's the way it's supposed to work. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to sit with me today and chat. And I'm sure that you've been an inspiration to many people out there who are watching or who may even watch this episode later on. So thank you so much, Pam, once again. We love seeing your artwork. We love seeing your book. Uh, again, guys out there, if you wanna find Pam's book, it's on Amazon. And I'm sorry, Pam, tell us the title one more time. It's uh, Truthful Lies Truthful. and it's under a pen name. Um, the pin name for those who can see it is Ada Marie Hall. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. you so much. And um, here's your tip for today. All right. We didn't really talk too much about the uh, contrasted modes. I've given this tip in the past, but use the contrasted reading modes in uh, either Iris Vision Live or Iris Vision Inspire for more than just reading, because you never know how it's going to be helpful. Sometimes if you drop something on the floor, maybe a, a pill or something, a button, and it's the same color as the floor, you might be able to use like the reading inverted mode and it'll stand out a little bit more on, uh, on the floor. Or, you know, if you're just trying to organize things that are maybe tiny pieces, try using one of those contrasted modes because you just never know if it's gonna be helpful to be able to see those things a little better. So there's your, your tip for today. And um, again, find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed or liked our pages, please go ahead and do that. Um, share um, our episode today with your friends and family or maybe someone who you may know that might be going through a little bit of sight loss right now or a lot of sight loss, who knows? And maybe they're struggling, share this episode. It's an awesome, inspirational one. And I really love your story, Pam. So thank you and Barry so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks Appreciate for having it. us. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you, Facebook world. We'll see you next time and social media world. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.